Today, I'd like to welcome to the program Mark Saltarelli and Michael Alden, the director and producer of Studio One Forever, which is screening this year at the Palm Springs International Film Festival. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. So this is a documentary, but tell me about the history of Studio One and why uh, this property deserves this, this film. Okay. Studio One was uh, really the first major gay disco in America. Um, it started in 1974 by Scott Forbes, who was an optometrist who wanted to run a disco, a gay disco. Um, and it went all the way through 1993. Uh, and gay men of a certain age have a very special place in their hearts uh, for this place. Uh, I mean, if you can imagine, you know, going through, it was, it was huge. It was a thousand people every night. Shirtless. Yeah, it's an yeah, enormous yeah. facility. Oh, yeah. It was originally a, a camera factory built in the 20s uh, that made ironically, uh, the cameras that filmed the Gone with the Wind and, and uh, The Wizard of Oz. So it was gay from the start. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, a thousand sweaty guys every night, uh, and it went through the excitement of the gay re revolution in the 70s, and then of course the 80s and AIDS, and the tragedy of that. Uh, and the film covers all of the aspects of it, all of the uh, discrimination aspects. They only wanted white men at the time. Oh, wow. Um, and Another aspect that Michael can talk about is the backlot. Yeah, well, two things I just wanted to add to what Mark was saying, that the, the movie that I just Mark so brilliantly tells is a moment in time where a group of men came together to fight City Hall because they wanted to tear the building down. Right, they building were, the building had been sold and it was going to be The building it represents a first home, a first safe place, a, a long-term memory from a horrible time. Uh, and so it takes you through the journey, obviously, of what Mark said about the whole history of it, but through a current yes. viewpoint of why that symbolizes so much. Uh, the Studio One also uh, in, um, encompassed the Backlot, which was an incredible uh, uh, entertainment facility with the Studio One as adjacent to, uh, opened by Cheetah Rivera, who's in the film. And uh, the cool thing about that that Cheetah will tell you is her idea of the Gene Kellys and the Fred Astaire's and, and the Rock Hudson's walking through a gay disco to go to a cabaret. <laughs> yeah. I was just so thrilled when, uh, thanks to Michael, uh, Cheetah found out about it and, and was excited and thrilled to be in our film because she wanted to you know, solidify her, her reputation as the person that started the backlot. That's how important it was. Well, it's an important film. It tells an important story, and it is screening uh, Studio One Forever, January 11th, 7 p.m. at the Camelot, and Friday the 12th, 8.30 at the Palm Canyon Theater, and then Saturday the 13th, 4.30 at the Regal Center. You go to psfilmfest.org to get tickets and uh, go check out this very important documentary. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank, oh, thank you, you so much for having me. Congratulations sure. on the film. Thank you. Now, if you're worried that you'll not be able to enjoy the Film Fest because it might not be family friendly, no need to worry because this year's Film Fest is excited to present its annual, first annual family day. We're all really, really excited about our inaugural family day. It'll be the last day, day of the fest, the last Sunday of the festival on the 14th, and we're going to be showing some family-friendly films, um, have some activities. Eva Longoria will be there with Flame and Hot. Let's see if she can. Uh, eat some hot cheetos with us, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be on the menu. <laughs> right. Well, very cool. Family Day at the International Palm Springs Film Festival will take place Sunday, January 14th at the Mary Pickford Theater. And it will include some fun activities like face painting, hot cheeto bars, and games and prizes. For more information, visit PSFilm.